News 13 has obtained the interview that Michelle Martins gave police just hours after her daughter Victoria was murdered. In it, she tells police two stories, both making her out to be innocent in all of this before police finally get her to crack. And a warning, the details of this story are disturbing. Here's News 13's Marissa Lucero. Dean Michelle Martin's interview with investigators goes on for more than 100 pages before she finally tells police more than they ever thought they'd hear. One of the most shocking crimes Albuquerque has ever seen. What happened to this little girl? It's, not, it's horrific. The murder of 10 year old Victoria Martins. News 13 has obtained pages upon pages of interviews between detectives and Victoria's mother, Michelle, after her arrest. At first, she tells police she and her boyfriend, Fabian Gonzalez, were attacked in the middle of the night by Gonzalez's cousin, Jessica Kelly, and had no idea what had happened to Victoria. Detectives didn't buy it and told Martins that her boyfriend was telling police everything. He wasn't. Then she claimed she and Gonzalez left Victoria at home with Kelly, a convicted rapist who'd been staying with them for a week, and that Victoria had taken meth, left on the table, and died. So Gonzalez and Callie decided to try and dispose of the body and threatened to kill Martins if she called police. After hours of being questioned, Martins broke. She told detectives she'd watched Gonzalez and Callie sexually assault Victoria at least three times in the days before the murder. That's when one detective asked, quote, this time she died and you weren't ready for the type of animals these people were. Martins replied, yes, I should have stopped it. Then admitted she enjoyed watching men have sex with Victoria. Martin's parents insisted in an exclusive sit-down interview with News 13. This isn't the daughter they know. We didn't know our daughter to be anybody that would do something like this. <laughs> and if there's evidence and she's found guilty, then she deserves to be punished. Punished like just like else. Every, the other two. She also admitted to letting two other men have sex with her daughter over the past six months or so. She named both of them. We asked APD if they'd been questioned. We haven't heard back. Back to you, Dean. Okay, Marissa, thank you. In one interview, Fabian Gonzalez swore to the end that he had nothing to do with the crime. Jessica Kelly never talked. Meanwhile, all three suspects were in court today where a judge set a trial date. Michelle Martins, Fabian Gonzalez, and Jessica Kelly are scheduled to go on trial October 2nd of next year. Their attorneys have until mid-April to decide whether to break up the defendants and try them individually. If that happens, the trials will happen one at a time in October, November, and December. That trial is expected to last about two weeks.